carbonation, but you're on prep. It's not a choice, it's a lack of options. <laughs> what is up YouTube? Sorry about the lighting. I am driving to a meeting, so I don't have a whole lot of time. I know my videos tanked quite a while ago. Um, I told you I was on prep. I was going to do a bikini competition show and I am still doing that. I am still on prep, but I have had no shortage of um, complications. Um, started out uh, on my birthday and I got verbally attacked by a family member. It was horrible. Uh, so that kind of emotionally set me back and of course as you guys have seen some of my videos I'm an emotional eater so of course what I wanted to do was go pig out <laughs> on a whole bunch of disgusting horrible food um, it was my birthday it was a cheat meal but it wasn't as bad as it could have been I didn't have any breadsticks I didn't have any um, sauce I didn't have any um, gluten so that was a win in my book um, so I've had that kind of setback. Of course, there's always, um, my family always comes first and not that they're a problem or a complication. It just obviously takes time out of my schedule to do what I need to do um, with my family and my kids and that's okay. And then uh, work, of course, gotta make a living somehow. And then um, as far as the actual prep itself goes, it takes time. I mean, meal prep takes time, the workouts take time, cardio takes time. Posing practice takes time, makeup practice takes time, I mean, practicing in heels takes time. All of these things take so much time and it's very time consuming. So that's been really hard for me to adjust to is the lack of time that I have. And then I've also had a series of injuries um, starting out with my knee and then um, my hip and you know it's just sometimes it sucks to get old so just my recommendation is don't do it if that works for you uh, so anyways everything is going okay um, I got a curveball thrown at me the other day there was a part of my show that I had no idea about so I'm really glad that I reached out and um, started talking to them to get some more details about my show uh, because there was parts that I had no idea it even existed and I would have arrived and not been prepared at all. Um, also, the posing that I have been doing for the past, let's see, I've only got two weeks left, y'all. Uh, so the posing that I've been practicing for 14 weeks um, isn't actually the correct posing. So I get to start all over again do the correct posing and learn how to do it in two weeks. So yay me. Um, it's a good thing I work really good under pressure. That's all I can say about that. But you know, I am like the grass. I bend, I adapt, I change. I don't break. You can't break me. Uh, so anyways, there's been aspects about this prep that I have totally failed and I've totally bombed. Um, I'm not exactly physically looking like I want to look, but of course, who is? And who has a perfect prep? I don't know anybody um, that looks exactly the way they want to look going into a competition or that prep went perfectly. Um, we all have lives and we all have things that happen and circumstances beyond our control. So I'm in the same boat as everybody else. Um, we all have different setbacks and it's about adapting to them and pushing through and that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'll end up stepping on that stage and being proud of what I accomplished. Am I satisfied? Oh no. I'm definitely going to keep going. I won't be satisfied until, you know, I'm strong. And for me, um, that means being able to run. Um, I want to be able to run at least a mile. Um, it doesn't have to be a minute mile, obviously but I would like to be able to run a mile in 10 minutes or 12 minutes without stopping. To me, that's success. Stepping on that stage to me, that's success. So those things 
to me are success and they are achievements and I'm gonna be able to do them and but it takes time all of this just takes time you want to know the secret to weight loss patience and consistency seriously if there was an honest to God secret like you hear everybody oh I've got this plan for weight loss blah 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 if there was do you not think that the competitive bodybuilders would not know what it is trust me they know and it's time and it's patience and it's consistency that's the secret you guys stop paying a bunch of money for programs and diets and all of these things stop just stop get a gym membership either find a friend or get a personal trainer which I vote for because being a personal trainer that's my vote um, it's so nice to have a personal trainer who can push you further um, or a friend that you know can kind of challenge you so put your money there stop wasting your money on supplements and diet pills and programs be patient and be consistent drink your water and eat clean food that's it that's all it takes bam secret exposed so anyways, I think that's about all I have to say. Like I said, I'm two weeks out. I'm going to show you some pictures on this video of from the beginning to where I am now. Um, but I am going to, and I might do another video. You know me, I always say that and then I never get it done. But um, I'm going to try. Always go over to my Instagram because that is the quickest place to get information because it's so much quicker for me to post a picture there on Instagram. It's lifee365. lifee365 TJ Davis. Anyways, you'll find it. It's the same little picture of me. Anyways, go over there. That's the quick, quickest way to find information. Um, if you like my update videos, please, please, please be sure to click on the thumbs up. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe my journey. Um, if it is inspiring to you at all, yay, then I have been successful. Even if I can help one person, that, again, to me is success. So, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. And I think I'm going to keep the entire package under wraps from now until show day. And then also, after that, I will let you in on that curveball that I got thrown and tell you all about that too after um, show day and the competition and everything. Um, Tori probably will not be able to make it. I keep telling her not to because she is due on the 7th and my show is on the 4th. And so I really don't want her driving an entire hour, hour and a half, depending on traffic, um, into the city. Um, I know she wants to go and she's probably not gonna listen to me and she's probably gonna do it anyways. But um, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what she does. If she's anything like her mother, she's going to do it. And she's just going to ignore me. But um, <laughs> don't do it, Tori. Stay home and keep your feet up. So, um, yeah. I think that's about it, guys. So I will try and do some more videos and check out the Instagram. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you again, hopefully, one more time before show day and then after show day for a recap and all of those super fun things and probably a um, looking back um, what I would do different the next time. Okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you.